Hi guys and ghouls, so today I have a mini Halloween haul for you from October 31st. So I ordered this about a week ago, I think it came out literally a week ago today. It was last Saturday. October 31st did do a whole like release thing, basically saying he was gonna have some new creepy company items dropping in store um, and it was all coming out at 12 o'clock last Saturday. So I set an alarm for 11.58 because I really wanted to make sure that I got my hands on one of these and I did and honestly it's been the hardest thing not to open this package already. It has been snowing in England which I'm sure you're all aware of because it's literally everywhere. Okay, oh, oh. okay bye. <sighs> As always with October 31st, um, it was shipped within a couple of days of ordering it and it got here super, super quickly and it's been the hardest thing ever not to open this package. As you can see, I have gone to open it about three times now. I ended up having to put it in my cupboard because every time I saw this, I was like, I just want to open it. And especially as it's been snowing because it has been so cold and in here is a big blanket and basically I wanted the blanket to keep me warm. However, I'm glad that I didn't open it just because I did want to to show you the October 31st packaging. So along the bottom here we have like some different spooky faces. As you can see there's a jack-o-lantern one, one with kind of pointy eyes and then this like crazy yet yeah, kind of cute one as well. Um, and then on the top there's all of these little bugs and it says we stick together. Now on the front my address is written in this big moon, it's actually meant to go this way and as you can see there's like a graveyard scene, there's pumpkins, there's a tree, there's little bats um, and it was sent tracked and signed for so I knew it was going to get to me safely and if I had had any issues I know that October 31st would be able to resolve them really quickly. So as always the customer service, like the general service, the quality of service was amazing from October 31st. I have on multiple occasions sent messages to the guy who owns it and he's really really quick to answer any questions that I have, any queries that I have and basically I'm so excited to open this so that is enough talking from me. I just really wanted to show you how awesome this packaging was um, and spooky it was. Where are you going? So finally I can open this up. It has stopped snowing now outside but it is still really cold so I'm definitely going to be able to wreak the benefits of this. So I'm going to open it up from the top. So straight up on the top I can see that it is in some kind of a packaging so I'm just going to pull it out and then I can show you in more detail. And October 31st has really kindly added some other goodies in here too. Oh my god they're so cute. Right let's show you them. So first off we have this in here which is called a scream straw. Sit and hear the scream. Yes I'm doing that right now. If this works, it's going to be so amazingly inconvenient to use. So there is a pumpkin at the top, as you can see, and then it's one of these twirly crazy straws, and it is a plastic straw, so, so of course that will be helping us save the turtles. Um, I'm trying to look, and I can't tell if um, the straw goes through the pumpkin or the pumpkin fills up with liquid, so I'm just going to use my drink here. That was amazing. I have no idea how that works, but there is also a light in there as well. One second. Let me try and show you a bit closer. That is absolutely hilarious. It must be activated through like liquids. I'm guessing it works with any liquid, but that is amazing. I imagine as well, this would be hilarious if you gave it to someone as like just a general straw and then they take a sip and it starts screaming at them. Um, I'm not too sure how easy it'll be to clean. So I guess the best way would probably be to put this bit like underneath a tap that's only slightly on and just washing it through that way. I mean this would, it would be fine but I'm unsure about the actual batteries and stuff but I'm guessing it would be okay because otherwise they wouldn't put it in a straw. Let's see what, it, what does it say. Okay so it says instructions with each sip the straw produces a monster screaming sound works with all kinds of fizzy drinks, juices, punches, milk etc. It may not work with all brands of bottled water. That's interesting. Do not use with hot beverages, not suitable for dishwasher or microwave. Do not wet the plastic figure. Okay, so basically 
wash the hand wash the straw by hand that's cool so basically i need to just make sure i don't like submerge this guy in water kitten i can hear you screaming and i'm in here kitten kitten does not know what to do with this snow he like needs to go to the toilet but he doesn't like going out and it's too wet struggles of being a cat um so then next up he's put in this little game and it's like one of those ones where you move oh no i see so you put the ball there and then you like fire it and see where you can get it to oh i got it right in the middle so the background is like a little cat with a pumpkin let's see if i can show you again so the ball kind of goes up there and then you go There you go. So it's like a little pocket game. I feel like these would be super cute to go into like trick or treating things. And it does have like a little hole there. So you could put it like on a keyring if you wanted to. Hello, big boy. How are you? Are you coming up here? Come on then. Hey, baby bear. How are you? Oh, oh I know you don't like the snow, huh? Why don't you like the snow? You look so cute in the snow. Hmm? Excuse me while I just sort out all my pets. So next up, he sent me this Sourpuss sticker. I love Sourpuss. I did actually meet Sourpuss when I went up to London Edge and I had a bit of a chat with the representative and we're in the process of communicating to get them to send me some stuff to show you guys. Um, I have told them that I would prefer it to be like predominantly Halloween themed. And I've sent a few ideas, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna be getting. I don't know if it's gonna be clothing. I don't know if it's gonna be homeware. I don't know if it's gonna be pins or accessories. I'm not sure but it will be predominantly spooky um, but that is really exciting. I love Sourpuss so much as you can see <laughs> right there. Um, I do actually have a Sourpuss dress which I did want to make a whole video about because I did order it from America and it did cost me I think about £70 um, and then there was like customs on top too and then when I got it I tried it on and it didn't fit me and it was like the saddest thing ever um, but I have been losing weight to fit into that dress and I'm like this close like literally this close until I can zip it up so once I can I did really want to make a video on the dress because it is gorgeous and it's everything that I've ever wanted in one dress and I'm so so excited so yes that was a really long explanation for the fact that this is a Sapper sticker it feels like a really nice vinyl sticker so I will be sticking this right onto my water bottle and then oh there's another sapper sticker as well and it says pure class with a middle finger um i would stick this on my laptop but currently i'm taking my laptop to placement and the kids are always like oh my goodness you've got so many pumpkin stickers and then i've got like a few like coffin stickers on the bottom and like stabby stabby like knife sword stickers as well that say like okay bye from killstar um and they're always like what is that and i'm like oh, don't worry about it <laughs> um so maybe i'll wait till i finish placement before i stick that on my laptop um there is a lovely classic plastic bat here you can never get enough of these i have them just dotted all over my room um and then awesome like cute mini stickers let me just zoom in to show you so we have this adorable little black but with green eyes there is this cute little devil heart that's so adorable we have a cat in a witch's hat and also a little skull grim reaper so thank you very much to october 31st for adding those bits in and now we have the blanket so let me grab my phone so i can give you the information about it Okay, so I've just got it up on my phone and it says that it's a Bestial Scratch Cat Blanket from Creepy Company. Um, these cost £45 for each of them. I did actually nearly order this all the way from America and I would have had to pay a ton of customs and shipping charges. Um, so I'm really glad that I waited. I think actually the guy who owns this, um, his name is Will and he's in like the original Ghoul Gang which um, kind of starts up around Halloween where we're kind of looking for Halloween stuff for each other. I am like 99% sure that he bought this blanket for himself from America and it was really nice and I actually bought um the jacket and I was so so sad that I didn't like kind of combine it and get both of them since will owns october 31st i'm pretty sure he bought it and then realized it was something that would work really well in his shop um so these are 45 pound each and it says wrap yourself in halloween with this scratch cat blanket from creepy co featuring a vintage bastille design this blanket measures approximately 63 inches by 63 inches so it's going to be quite big it's 100 acrylic jacquard 
knit. Um, dry cleaning recommended but machine wash with care, air dry only. Please note this item does not ship outside the UK. So if you are in the UK, definitely head over to October 31st for this. I know he had a very limited amount and they sold out within 10 minutes, so he's very happy to get my hands on one. Um, but I have talked to him and he did say that he's getting some more in stock very soon for the rest of you guys. So you guys know I love my vintage cats, especially from Bestial, and um, Scratch Cats are my favourite, and I actually bought this orange and black jacket, it says Scratch Cats on the back, and obviously it has a Scratch Cat, and then on the front it has like the Bestial Creepy Company patch, which I love, and it's like this waterproof jacket, I honestly don't wear it that much, I think it's because it is like so orange um but i did wear it to um london one time and it was really comfy to wear it's just because it's so bright um but i guess it's just like one of those things you have to be feeling particularly pumpkin-y to be wearing it um but i absolutely love the back of it and as you will see this kind of motive is like the kind of cap that they use throughout i know that you can buy it as pins you can buy it as a candle you can buy it in lots of different forms I think you can buy it on socks as well um, and October 31st does have lots of other creepy company bits so if you are a fan of this kind of scratch cat face but you didn't want it on a blanket there are other options but I did want it on a blanket so I'm gonna open it up um, because the packaging is so noisy Ooh. and straight like straight up first impressions it feels a lot softer than I thought it would I have this blanket here which i love it's my favorite i actually have two of them now i keep one at here and one at mike's house um and it is so soft and i love it so much um and it's a very very soft blanket and that one feels like you're like wrapped in like cats it's so soft um but this one feels a bit more like blankety but at the same time it's a lot softer than i was expecting and obviously it's got scratch cats all over it so opening this up it is massive the cats are definitely a lot bigger than I expected which is not necessarily a bad thing <laughs> um, so here is the kind of size of the cats like they're about I was about to say life size definitely not probably this cat if my cat lay down to sleep would just fit on the one face um but it is really big still unfolding so if we go across I think this is the shortest length we've got half a cat a whole cat, another whole cat, another whole cat, and then uh, nearly a whole cat. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea of length that way. And then downwards we have one cat, two cat, three cats, four cats, five cats. So as you can see, it is pretty big. Um, I definitely feel like this would very, very easily cover a double bed. Um, probably it would rest along the top of a king size bed. You probably wouldn't get much going down the sides, um, but definitely would completely cover a double bed. Straight up just wearing it like <laughs> as a uh, poncho <laughs> I guess um, it is really warm it feels really snuggly it's definitely not like super super thick um, it's not like um well I guess this is like I think quite a thick blanket um, and it's not like the thickness of a quilt but it is the kind of thickness you'd expect from like a knitted blanket and the thing I really liked about this is actually something which I knew from when Will got his so he must have bought one unless I'm thinking of someone completely different but he said like you buy it thinking it's orange with the black cats but actually if you turn it the other way it's black with orange cats and I much prefer it with black with orange cats it's exactly like the same motif around it it's just sort of the other way round by the look of it they made the two sides and then like somehow maybe they didn't stitch them together I'm not too sure but they're somehow interconnected I mean that side and that side are like the reverse of each other um so obviously it's something to do with how they make it they make it reverse on the other side but it is really big and it is really cuddly and I definitely feel like it's a super, super, super nice like quality. I mean, it is all really, really nicely finished off. I'm just going to see if there's any labels or anything. Um, by the look of it, it doesn't have any labels. I don't think so. No, so it doesn't have any labels on it, which um, I guess is a good thing because sometimes labels can be a bit scratchy, um, but it is massive and it's so snuggly. So I'm just gonna wrap myself 
in it oh, this is so nice and it's like the perfect weight as well to just parade around the house covered in scratch cats how cute is that i am super super pleased with this um and i definitely say when they come back in stock which hopefully will be soon if you can get your hands on one please do because they are awesome um i will leave a direct link below in case you are watching this in the future when they are back in stock but in the meantime i would say make sure you follow october 31st on facebook and on instagram especially those are the two places where i found out that these were coming into stock um and he does do like really regular updates october 31st has stuff from loads of different companies as you can see sourpuss um creepy company he has smaller stores like um chris miners who i've reviewed before um, basically loads of independent stuff lots of vintage style stuff also like modern halloween stuff as well so definitely if you are craving a little bit of halloween then october 31st is the place to go in order to get your halloween fix as always with october 31st i am so pleased with the quality um oh my goodness how cute would this be as a background hey guys hi guys and ghouls look at my cat background um i'm just gonna stand here like this now um as always i am really pleased with the quality um the prices are really really reasonable i feel like 45 pounds for this is a super good price especially as it is imported all the way from america um and it is this kind of i'd say designer halloween product so thank you very much for watching if you do have any questions comments please leave them down below if it's sunny where you are i hope you're enjoying the shade and i'll see you next time bye